Welcome to this video against International Master Ray Lear. No name. Okay. Let's see. I played him once and lost. Don't really remember that game. Okay. So Queen's Gambit. Here's the big parting of the ways. Black has yeah, maybe like 10 different systems <laughs> that you can play. This is one of them, the Rogozin. Check. Yeah, playing the line that Magnus Carlsen recently played against Aronian. I think um, I already have played this on the channel recently. More than once, probably. Lura Gozin is um, gaining some popularity on the, let's say, normal level. It's a um, very popular opening on, 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 on the super top level for a while now. Yeah, one reason is probably that this bishop before kind of Queen's Gambit is a bit more... It is a bit more active, let's say, than... Um, some very classical Queen's Gambit um, declined variations like the Lasker, for example, which is like rock solid, but to ever win with black, um, yeah, the other guy basically has to have a heart attack or something. Otherwise, you're not going to win. Uh, on the other hand, you're going to lose uh, very rarely. But um, the Rogozin is a little bit more fighting. He's spending lots of time on these theoretical moves bishop e6 now or a6 i don't know those kind of moves rook d8 okay yeah okay i'm going to ah yeah that that's an interesting way to play it put the bishop there is knight b5 some some move or is it not making much sense hmm. i don't know probably probably not making much sense Putting the bishop on f8 is a bit uncommon. Normally, they um, try to put it on d6, but this is probably um, coming coming next in the near future. Yeah, white is just going for this very typical minority attack in the style of the Karlsbad variation, the Queen's Gambit declined, just trading C and E pawn, and then roll the B pawn up the board. Okay, so if I play B5 now, he, hmm, what is he doing? Taking it, C5 is not possible. Okay, so let's play that. It um, can never be really bad, I think, so deciding on that quickly is probably not a bad idea okay he might take and play knight h4 mm -hmm. Yo. take knight h4 bishop e2 and I always have g3 so what am i doing rook, uh, rook to c1 question is f or a let's do the f rook not sure these, those questions are always difficult to answer I was thinking that it makes some sense to um, have um, the a rook protect uh, the a3 pawn okay I wonder yeah I probably should should get the queen back hoping in the defense here yeah, he's got some pieces near my king so have to be circumspect there hmm, I wonder knight e1 is this maybe a move I mean okay it's it's a question what he's playing now Okay, that, that I did not really expect, but doesn't mean it is bad. Okay, I'm going to try to... Or can you take on h2, stuff like that? It's not, that's never going to really work. 
that said, it's not clear that he's not still playing it. <laughs> Bishop h2. Yeah, that, that. Again, this drilling. Okay, I really have to stop the session after the video. <laughs> this drilling is, uh, is terrible. I already had it briefly on the on the video uh, before that. I really hate this kind of thing. I mean, who doesn't? But I'm, I'm especially I'm especially um, sensitive to this kind of noise. Okay, so I'm going to play here and then get the queen to f3 or g4 or something. The knight with the, the pawn on h4 is, is all nice and good, but it's not helping him with with the attack. Okay, he wants to get the queen here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I should have really taken that into into account a bit more, right? Ah, it was that was bad. Yeah, allowing allowing that. Okay, <sighs> that was stupid. Didn't really think of that idea at all. That, that's the last kind of idea that black has against my king, but it is very valid, quite obviously. My idea is queen g5 possibly to try to trade off queens or win the h pawn. Okay, going to try to win this pawn. Okay, I cannot take it now. I can however regroup the knight to f4. Then trying to take it. Okay, on f6 I have I can take g6, so maybe I can get rook to b7. Mm, yeah, I can put it on b7 now, but it's not helping that much. No, yeah. Okay. Have to play something. Uh, knight to e5, maybe. Could be an idea. Knight e5, why not? Pressurizing this c6 pawn. And he cannot move the c7 bishop. As f7 is, is hanging then. Black forfeits due to disconnection. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if this was uh, what kind of disconnect that was, but um, it looks pretty grim, right? What is he doing? Knight e7 is knight e7 is the only move to kind of keep things together. And um, yeah, I don't know. The comp wants to play queen g4 here with a pretty big advantage. Huh, I don't really understand the move. Probably just because of f6. And, um, yeah, okay. Maybe also back here. Yeah, I have a pretty, pretty nice position now. Yeah, I, I completely forgot about this uh, or ignored whatever the idea to here when I when I regrouped. I probably should think of regrouping here, but I was kind of tempted to block the, the c5 uh, square and here I recognize that I have to correct things yeah okay now you went g5 
6. Now here, hmm. Yeah. I think I'm okay. I, I'm, I'm going here to control h5 so that rook h8, h5 is not coming. The knights are, are okay. They are really active. Here and rook b1. Yeah, that's actually what the comp... I, I was gambling a bit here because I wasn't totally sure that I have something against this, to be honest. Uh, it's not a move that you easily play uh, in uh, with a time um, time disadvantage. But one point is I cannot do this. This is just Check. giving away the rook. So I have to do another move. The comp gives rook c5 with a very large edge, but hmm, I don't really think I would have played that one. I don't really know what I would have played. I, <laughs> I, I really gambled a bit here. Yeah, that, that gets that gets ugly now. Yeah, it's a very very large edge. He will probably wouldn't have made it um, time wise. Okay, I hope you like this. Thanks for watching.